Yeah, we're back. Red Light Radio in uh, in India. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's uh, one of my favorite destinations, so I'm very delighted to uh, to be here in Mumbai. Thanks uh, Far Out Left Festival for uh, having us. We're gonna broadcast for uh, two days here. Um, the the weather is great. The people are amazing. Thanks everybody for your help to make this uh, happen. And uh, our first guest. Um, She's part of the Regenerate crew who's behind this festival and uh, she's a resident DJ uh, on their parties. She actually lived for five years in Amsterdam where we are of course based, but she never played red light radio. So this is the first time in her home country, India, and her name is Manali. Thanks a lot everybody. Red light radio in Mumbai for out left. Enjoy. Here we have an artifact weighing about 170 pounds that cannot exist outside of a very specialized environment, uh, sort of a whole uh, aqualog. And uh, the official space programs, they, how do they propose to solve this? Well, they're going to move this whole artifact, the human artifact, in its environment from uh, one place to another. It wouldn't occur to them to start from the other end. Now you have an object, X, that's the human body, and you want to transport X, say, from Earth to space from E to S. And X is heavy, and it can only live in a whole medium. Uh, so why not so alter X as to reduce its weight and its dependency on its medium? That would seem to be a logical approach to the problem. And this would not occur to the official programs because they accept uh, the... Uh, the human artifact with all its limitations. In effect, they accepted limitations imposed by uh, Christianity, by what uh, Crowley calls the slave gods. Now, um, it's, the human body is much too dense for space conditions. We have a model to hand, and that is less dense. In fact, almost weightless, and that would be the astral or dream body. And I postulate that the function of dreams may be uh, to prepare us for space.
Oh yeah. Thanks, Manali. I give you a big hug. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for opening the broadcast.